Hello children, welcome back. Today we will start lesson 3 working with Windows 7. Okay, so in this chapter we are going to discuss the feature of Windows 7 starting Windows and the computer icon. So as we all know that the computer is a machine that can think on its own. So we, uh, we need to give the instruction for the computer to perform. So the most important program, okay, on the computer is the operating system. So there are different types of operating system and it is the operating system that controls the overall activities of the computer. So among those operating systems, like say, uh, Windows is one of the operating systems that is commonly used, Linux, Macintosh and Unix. So today we are going to discuss the uh, some of the features of Windows 7 along with the starting Windows and the computer icon. Now, <clears throat> let us go through some of the features of Windows 7, attractive and easy to use. So, Windows 7 has a very attractive features with colorful themes, okay? The use of graphics make it quite interactive. Second is searching made easier means using Windows 7 we can quickly search any files or folders in our computer. So let me show you with the help of one example. Suppose say uh, currently I am using a Windows 10 okay. So I am going to show you all the features of Windows 7 in Windows 10 itself. So just like in Windows 7 you can see that in Windows 10 uh, just in at the side of the start button we have or search box here so instead of clicking on the start buttons okay and dragging the files and or the applications and looking for it what we can do is we can directly click on the search box here and open the application suppose say i just want to open uh, say ms pen so what we i can do is i will directly type here the paint now once i type the paint you can see that the paint application has opened so simply click Open the paint application and do your work. Suppose if you want to quickly search for your files and folders. So what you can also do is. Suppose say I want to search some of the files and folders related with class. Okay. So here let me type say class 4. So once I type class 4 you can see it is showing me a list of files and folders that are related with class 4. So you can from this pop-up menu you can directly access the files and folders that you want. So you can see that these are some of the very important features of Windows 7 okay that is searching. Now third one is flexible tax file. So as we all know that the long button at the bottom of the desktop, we call this as a tax bar. So what you can do is um, if you have some of the frequently used program or application, you can pin it. Pin it means you can place that application in the tax bar. So you have these features in Windows 7. So how you can do it? Suppose say, let me show you, uh, say, uh, PowerPoint. Suppose PowerPoint is the frequently used application and we frequently use the PowerPoint application to uh, make a presentation. So instead of clicking on the start buttons and looking for the PowerPoint, what I want is I want to place the PowerPoint application in my tax bar so that uh, whenever I need, I just click on that application in the tax bar and use it. So for that, let, first let me search for the PowerPoint application here. Okay. So let me type PowerPoint. So this is the PowerPoint application. Now what I will do is I will right click the mouse button there and click on pin to tax bar. Now once I click on pin to tax bar, you can see clearly that the PowerPoint application has appeared in the tax bar. Now it becomes very easier for me to use anytime I want. See, I'll just click on the PowerPoint application, okay, and I'll open the PowerPoint window see we call this as a <coughs> flexible tax file, okay so that you can pin your favorite program means the windows 7 will uh, have a features to provide you to pin the your favorite program on the tax bar the next one is arrow pick okay so what is this arrow pick features actually this arrow pick features allows us to 
uh, turn, uh, make the open window transparent and help us to see the desktop or make the desktop visible. Suppose say this is the application that I have opened. Now instead of closing this application or minimizing the application, I just want to see the desktop. So how can you see the desktop? Means I want to make this application as transparent. So for this, what I will do is you can see that I will take the mouse pointer at the right corner okay so see as i take the pointer on the right corner of the tax bar what happen is see the uh, currently when the current windows that i have used it get transparent and i can see the desktop means desktop is visible so we call this as a arrow pick feature okay so this is one of the very important features of windows 7. Now next one is Windows support multitasking. So it's very easy. This means that at the same time you can work on different platforms. You you, you can enjoy the music and many more things. Suppose say I want to work on Microsoft Word. So let me open the Microsoft Word here. Okay, for typing and all other purpose. At the same time, say just I want to draw something on the paint window. So you can open the paint window as well means at the same time you can write a letter in the microsoft word windows at the same time you can just go to the uh, microsoft paint and you can draw your features at the same time you can use a headphone and you can listen the music while doing your work so we call this as a multitasking features okay so windows 7 support this multitasking features so and next is a jump list so what is the meaning of jump list suppose say um, you are working on some of the uh, applications frequently suppose say you are working on some of the document you are opening the pictures song or you may be opening some of the websites frequently so what does the jump list will do is it will help you to uh, quickly go through that particular document okay pictures or the website so that you have recently visited so for this what you have to do is suppose say i just want to visit the say the website that i have visited frequently okay so what you need to do is go to the internet explorer okay this is the icon right click on this internet explorer icon so once you right click you can see it will show the list of the uh, sites that I have frequently visited so you can simply click on that and open it suppose if I click on sub, say this particular icon if I right click on it it will show me the list of files and folders that I'm working recently so you can directly click here and open it so means it will save your time as well no need to go to the start button no need to look for it no need to look for the files and folders okay directly just right click on the application that you are currently working it will show you the list of uh, the documents that you have currently used so we call this as a jump list and finally the cascading window so what does the cascading window will do is suppose say you have haphazardly you have opened all the windows and you are working on all the windows so the the important features of windows 7 is cascading windows what it will do it will arrange all the open windows from the top left corner to the bottom right corner so let me show you this as well actually what is a cascading window consider that this is the microsoft word okay now i'm working on the microsoft word as well suppose say this is the paint window so i am also working on the paint window as well okay now consider this as the file that i am recently working on so you can see that there are three different files this is the one this file number two and this is file number three that i am working now what does the cascading windows will do it will arrange all the files that it has opened okay right from the top left corner to the bottom right corner so for this what you have to do is in the tax bar you just click on the empty area just right click the mouse button on the empty area you will see a list of pop-up menu from here click on cascade window now what will happen once i click on the cascade window you can see here all the 
files has been arranged properly from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. So you see, this is my file number one, this is my application number two, and this is my application number three. So all this will get arranged properly. Okay, so this is the feature of cascading windows. So we have seen that right now. Just a minute, let me open it once again. So these are some of the features that we have uh, discussed about the uh, Windows 7, okay? Like say, attractive and easy to use, searching made easier, you can quickly search the file and folder. We have a flexible taskbar so that you can pin your favorite uh, programs for easier use. Uh, you can have uh, aerobic uh, features, you can do multiple work at the same time. We have the jump list feature and the cascading windows features. So these are some of the features that are available on Windows 7. Now let us move to desktop and icon. So we all know what exactly the des desktop is, okay? The first screen that appears on the monitor is known as a desktop. So this is the screen we call this as a desktop so when we start the computer the first screen that appear we call this as a desktop and what are the icons these are the small graphics pictures or the symbols displayed on the desktop okay so whatever the things that you are seeing here it may be the folder it may be the file it may be the application so a single term we use for this one is or icon so we can call this as a graphics pictures or symbols that appears on the desktop we call this as an icon no computer icon so what is the use what is the role of the computer icon now you can see that the computer folders displays the content of the computers hard disks it may uh, contain shows the content that are in the CD, DVD, or maybe on the pen drive or any other external devices. Okay, and using computer icon, we can access and manage all the files and folders stored in the computer. So let me show you exactly what the computer icon is. Now, if you see here, I have it hasn't written this PC. Okay, now if you see at Windows 7, you may find this as my computer icon. So simply click on the my computer icon. Now, once you click on the my computer icon, what you will see is you will see our two part. We call this as a left pen and we call this as a right pen. Okay, so the left pen and the right pen is separated by our scroll bar. Okay, so Suppose say it will show a list of drive as well, C drive, D drive, E drive, with all these things, whatever the files and folders that are stored in the different drives. So all these files and folders and the drives are shown on the left pane. Suppose if I click on the particular folder, suppose say folder of class four. Now once I click here, you can see it. You can it will show me a list of files or the folders that are inside this particular folders okay on the right pane side so if you want to see uh, anything that is stored on the file or folders so you just need to click it on the left side suppose I just want to see what are the things that are stored on the D drive okay so click on this D, uh, D drive in the left side so it will show me the list of files or folders that are stored on this file. So basically, uh, my computer icon, it helps us to store, it helps us to manage files and folders, okay? So in this content, we have learned the different features of, uh, say, Windows 7. We have learned uh, about the different parts that you will get in computer icon so this is all in today's video and in the next video we will learn how to say create files and folders so thank you children this is all in today's video